we will see a little bit of a break. We were talking about this just a few minutes ago. As promised, as advertised, we will see a summer cold front sweeping through, and that's going to help sweep out some of the heat and some of the humidity, at least temporarily. We know that it never lasts too long this time of year, right? We already have some cool down. We already have a cool down, I should say, in places like Wyoming, Colorado, where we're anywhere from, you know, 10 to even 25 degrees below average. So many 70s on the map in places that say just a couple of days ago we were talking about triple digits. I'm looking at you in North Dakota. It feels a lot better than what it has been. More 70s as we get into tomorrow, even places like Oklahoma City dropping for our highs in the 80s. All this comfortable blue color is going to be spreading to the south and to the east as we head into the upcoming week. So Monday, more of us getting in on those below average temperatures as our cold front barrels through. And that means Nashville, St. Louis, Little Rock, your highs will be in the 80s. So not an enormous cool down, but it is a difference from where we've been. And one of the perfect examples of how dramatic this cool down will be in a few places is Oklahoma City, where today we're talking 101. Tomorrow, we're going to drop our high temperature by 20 degrees and a nice, cool, comfortable 80. We'll stick with the 80s on Monday, but then you'll watch slowly as the temperatures start to climb back towards the middle part of the week. Nashville, you're another great example where you're going to see a little bit of heat relief going from the upper 90s to the mid 80s for Monday. But then look at this. By Wednesday, we are right back into the 90s. So, Colleen, this is the cold front that's going to be moving it through, but we know very well that cold fronts really don't visit Florida too often this time of year.